Welcome to Morning Drawfee, the show where you take your dumb suggestions and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Jacob. That's right. Nathan is uh, on vacation this week, so Jacob is filling in. Uh, we have a great suggestion. Anna Heffernan wants us to draw our house sigils if we were lords from Game of Thrones. Uh, and that's definitely something we've never thought about before. Never, you know, dedicated any mental space or capacity to that that fantasy at all. Never dreamed about it. No. Uh, any night or every night mm -hmm. uh, my entire <laughs> life. So we, yeah, we're coming into this blind, like no thoughts, no preparation. Definitely haven't, you know, like doodled this on every notebook. <laughs> Since the day I was born, before I knew that Game of Thrones was a thing, uh -huh. I was still uh, super into it. It's feasible. It. Those books came out a while ago. You could have been aware of sigilry. I mean, I was just into sigilry before I knew <laughs> Dude, I was into sigilry way before Game of Thrones. Dang, man. Mm -hmm. You must have been the coolest kid in all of your schools. Get this. I wasn't. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> and I'm not like I'm not even one of those like fair weather, uh, like Game of Thrones nerds. Like I, I want, I'm into every aspect of it. Like shitting in a shitting in a weird room As with you a go hole. Full the full role play. Yeah, yeah. Like having to wear like a weird collar because like your neck is being consumed by a disease. Yeah, all that biz. Uh, having a rat bucket strapped onto your stomach for torture oh yeah <laughs> well i wouldn't i wouldn't do that i would do that to others oh so you're like a lord yeah well, of course we're lords we have sigils well yeah i mean i always would in my mind role play is just like a peasant oh yeah so i'm you... just i'm just hanging out and then somebody straps a rat bucket on me <laughs> and uh your charisma did nothing <laughs> uh can you it did not roll, work roll for initiative here because uh, you have like you have a super high uh check for getting eaten by rats getting yeah. tortured by rats yeah it, it, as it turns out charisma mm -hmm. does not matter no in the world of uh of what, what of would drugs. a peasant's stats be i feel like you'd have like you know torture um disease uh melancholy yeah uh crops <laughs> <laughs> the crops stat. and leggings <laughs> and, and leg leggings yeah of course uh, pat, yeah, you got to show off them mm -hmm. calves oh yeah and then the muddiness yeah, muddiness. My muddiness is off the charts. Most most peasants' muddiness stat very high. It, it starts pretty high. It starts pretty high. It's their natural mm -hmm. uh, passive skill. Yeah, is is in a, is in muddiness. I can't believe that. I wish that like that would be a cool class actually to have in like a game, is where you you roll a peasant and like I feel like you you suck in every regard except for one. Like right. you're muddy and gross and full of disease, but like. God dang it, you got heart. You got so much heart. Mm -hmm. But that will not help you fight a war. No. <laughs> or a warg. Uh, or a warg. <laughs> <laughs> it won't help you fight either thing. <laughs> either of those variations on terrible things. Yeah. I mean, you can believe in yourself all you want. Uh-huh. Uh, but the, unless you've got a sword, the cows come home. A sword cows made of Valyrian steel <laughs> and the ability to use it. Then sorry, your cows ain't never coming home, son. Where did your cows go? Your cows are gone. Oh, marauders stole my cows, and now I'm even more worse off. I should not have rolled this cow steal. <laughs> <laughs> I should not have rolled this get your cows stolen trait. It's a bad choice. It's a, it is a really bad choice. I like this sloth. Is this a sloth? Yeah, this, this is my, uh, my little sloth guy. Little of course my sigil is a sloth. Right. Because uh, if I were in the world of Game of Thrones, I would right. be one of those, like, really, like, fat lords yeah. that just kind of sits around and or everybody like, hates them. They, they spend most of uh, most of the description of him is spent on, like, the, the terrible, like, gangrene or... Uh, yeah, what the, the, bed, the bed sores <laughs> yeah. that I have because I never leave my, my bed. Lord Andrews <laughs> shoved another tart in his mouth. Laughing mm. haughtily. <laughs> <laughs> his breath, his breath, hot with wine and mold liquids. <laughs> Other mold liquids. Yeah, I'm not cool with just one mold liquid. <laughs> multiple molds. I need multiple mold liquids. And I, I do the kind of thing yeah. where like, fetch would, me another trough. He bellowed. <laughs> I would bring in uh -huh. starving peasants to yeah. like watch me just to watch you go eat. to town on like a full hen. <laughs> <laughs> just get wild on some aurochs. Yeah, <laughs> I Just don't know consuming what consuming a stag. I don't know what an arox is, but I think they mention it in Game of Thrones a lot. Yeah, they certainly do. I think it's like a stag. Are you, are we talking about like these hens that you're that you're chowing on. Uh -huh. Are they honeyed? If you think they're not honeyed <laughs> for one split second, you can get right out of this office for and never one come back. GD minute. Okay, so this uh -huh. is my sigil. Yeah, it's a, it's a sloth doing a kickflip. Okay, those your house. 
Yeah. Your house sigil. This is the how the uh, when you ride into war, which is not often. This is the I, I never display. ride into war. <laughs> you kind of like the cruise. only the only time I ride yeah. is when I'm cruising down the streets <laughs> on my board. You know, holla and uh-huh. all the peasant ladies. <laughs> that's that's you got a thing for peasants. I, I do, you know. Uh-huh. It's whether just, you're whether you're w- making them watch you eat or like I don't know, like macking on them supremely. Yeah, it's weird. You don't want to live in my fife or whatever uh-huh. it is that I have. Yeah, uh, you're. I send a lot of mixed signals. <laughs> like sometimes I'm riding around and I'm super uh-huh. rad, and then other times I'm just chowing on hens and while laughing at your starvation. How how gouty would you say you are? Not gaudy, gouty. Like how much oh, gouty? Gout, <laughs> how much gout are you rocking? Uh, I mean. At least a hundred percent. Yeah, but probably more. You you rolled a, a you rolled a, a perfect twenty on your gout check. Yeah, and you are fully gouted. So, uh, and that's House Andrews. What's that's your my yeah? Last what are your name. words? My words. Mm-hmm. Chill. Mm-hmm. I I till whoa. You can't. Holy shit. <laughs> House Andrews, chill till you can't. I'm so jealous. Which is probably because of the gout. I think, yeah, <laughs> you're you're kind of at the point of can't. Yeah, I'm 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 living my life in a way that I I'm know. Ch- I chilled so hard it became uncomfortable. <laughs> I know at some point I'm not going to be able to chill comfortably anymore because I've done it too much uh-huh. already. But you know that's how you live. Yolo. I can I can just picture like George R. R. Martin writing the passage. He's like, he's like he had the sores of a very comfortable man. <laughs> <laughs> and the attitude yeah. of a very rebellious teen. The wounds <laughs> only a bed could inflict. All right, I'm going to switch out with All you right, here. hop in here. I got something good planned. Uh, I like this sloth. He's just kind of like, he, he he is barely jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he That's managed. A pretty, yeah, it's a pretty strong kickflip. I don't know how he managed like, the yeah. kickflip. It's clear uh-huh. that he has not put a lot of force behind yeah, it. Yeah, I think like it's a, uh, maybe he like, uh, momentum is involved. <laughs> Momentum is a strong player in this in this scenario. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm just gonna. Right, so, so we got a pretty sick fist right here already, yeah. which which makes me think you're going to be a powerful house. Uh-huh. Uh huh. No, yeah, mine is uh, one of the oldest and one of the strongest houses. A, a real battle house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you you go in there, people are just sword fighting. Uh huh. Everywhere. Yeah, all my lots all of, my sons. Lots of warrior. All your sons. My mini beautiful. <laughs> My many muscular sons are all just roughhousing just all rough. over the place. <laughs> just getting real sweaty and musty yeah. in there. Oh, it's just, just covered in... It's covered in sun sweat. <laughs> <laughs> the sweat of a thousand suns re- the, makes the halls reek with with passion and uh, just the, and the fruit of my loins. The the scent of bagel bites mm. always cooking <laughs> in the house, the house oven. Someone always screaming, Mom. <laughs> It's just, it's a house. It's a teen uh-huh. house. Yeah, it's strong it's, teen house. It's a strong teen house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but that's the thing is, it's not all. It's not all about that. Oh, I'm also gentle. I'm also a gentle and caring house. I have oh, daughters wow. too. So there's and my daughters are busy, like you know, uh, like bringing in, you know, you know, they're they're like doing quilts and like some mm-hmm. of them are in there on the rough house. Right. A lot of them are like you know, like getting like fresh towels and like you know rustling up hot pockets for like you know all the fighting dudes the stuff that girls love to do yeah yeah getting like, fresh you know, towels uh-huh. big pass time <laughs> only the freshest towels yeah they're getting fresh towels they're making fresh towels um commenting on like you know the problematic nature of the gender situation in my household <laughs> and i'm like yo we got it that's a discussion that's a discussion that's that valid. needs to be that had. Is, there's clearly some issues uh-huh. uh, to be had here. Listen, I got we got a little swept up in this roughhousing team <laughs> cave. On, on the one I hand, I had a lot of. I blacked out and had a lot of sons. <laughs> a lot of sons, a lot of rum. <laughs> and uh, next thing I knew, mm-hmm. so I'm sorry. This we have a room full of nothing but Nerf footballs. <laughs> Things nerf got out of hand. Fo- it's oh god! It's full. Of, it smells like Nerf footballs, and uh, it just like oof, just Chex mix in there. <laughs> that hot and spicy Chex mix. Yeah, that they've been just, digging it into. It smells like a powdered Gatorade and Nerf balls. <laughs> just it's no good. So I feel mm-hmm. like we should be discussing the fact yeah. that this is a, <clears throat> a dainty bird body. Yeah. With a big muscly arm for a head. Uh huh. So like yeah that's that, that's my that's my schedule. Do you have do you have anything to say about this? Um, Can you explain yourself. Yeah, well the thing is like, my house uh, this is a common animal. This 
it's uh, you know the muscle bird. That that's a real animal that is found at your house. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's we, we like settled um, on like a, a muscle bird, you know, nest. So this isn't even fantastical. This is just no the thing you see mm-hmm. and it, you you feel it. These represents. don't come in. Or these don't come into the Game of Thrones series until like book uh, like book the last. Book the last. Yeah. Like when uh, they when mm-hmm. uh, old George really jumps yeah. the shark. <laughs> <laughs> Runs out of fantastical elements to add. When, yeah, when the final book, which I believe is just called Game of Thrones, fuck, it's cold now, <laughs> um, comes out, hits the shelves. The, this is like, the, this is the thing is, um, you know, for when when fall happens, when autumn rolls up, they do the uh, the white crow or the white raven. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, when summer is back, when summer's back in the house, it's all muscle birds. Yeah, muscle bird, bringing it. Muscle bird on mm-hmm. the beaches. Muscle bird rolls up. It's like Strutting. it's summer now. Like everybody chill. Everybody have a good time. He, uh-huh. he swoops down, got a beer in that hand. I got yeah. yeah he's bringing you a beer. Muscle bird's like, I just had a green dream. <laughs> the greenest of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a big puff. <laughs> green dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he brings a, a parchment, but guess what? Guess that parchment rolls so tight. That's you know a rolling why? parchment. <laughs> you know why, my man? <laughs> so anyway, my my house combines uh, like you know strength, but also dignity and grace. So we're house. Uh oh, house Tanner. Something's, house tablet lag. <laughs> something's bumping in the in the corner over there. I think we got to update something. House Tanner. Uh uh, and then what are your your sacred words? Our sacred words are strong. Enough. Strong enough. Yeah. <laughs> Gets the job done. Yeah. Like, we're not going all out. You don't. There's no need to be that strong. The thing is about a muscle bird is they can fight, but they'll they'll fly away if if, if the fight is too great. Yeah. They're not afraid to get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> And they're not afraid to punch and punch and run. That's what fight or flight. Punch this and is, run. <laughs> this is the definition of fight or flight. <laughs> it's this bird. But it's fight and flight. <laughs> yeah. It's both. You fight, then you just get out of there. <laughs> when it becomes clear, you're not going to win. Yeah, you take it to the limit, and then uh, then you lower what the limit is. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's beautiful. Guys, this is, man, our houses, I feel like, yo, do you have a daughter that my, one of my many muscular sons can marry? Let's join our houses, dude. Do you have a daughter that just likes to chill? <laughs> do you and have a daughter? wants to, like, watch some movies with yeah, me? Yeah, like, watch movies, make quilts, uh, like, feed my many sons. Also, I need some fresh towels. <laughs> we are, we are. <laughs> Hardcore out. <laughs> right, well, I think that that's our show. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. We do this uh, every Monday. Please subscribe, like our channel. And fun fact, uh, Drawfee is going to be at Comic-Con this year in New York. You can come see us Friday night, 8.15, October 10th. Uh, there will be more details soon, but that's all we know for now. Please come see us. Thanks for watching. We're so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>